Calling all creatives. If you have a story in mind, but aren't sure how to bring it to life, you've come to the right place. Yes, storytelling is the cornerstone to content, but sometimes it's hard to tell your story to its full capacity. Maybe you're missing your cast or the setting you had in mind. Maybe you have an idea that's a bit more complex and harder to edit. This is where CapCut's AI Story Maker comes in. In this video, I wanna walk you through this brand new AI tool that will help you bring your story to life with just a few taps. Whether you're creating educational content, horror, history, or anything in between, the AI Story Maker will craft the best version of your story to share with your audience. But I can't get this tutorial going without making sure that you're subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. We post a ton of product updates and tutorials that you definitely do not want to miss. Okay, now let's open the mobile app and start telling our story. The AI Story Maker is listed on the homepage within the Tools section. The first thing you'll see is a spot to add your story's script. Simply paste in your pre-made script here or use CapCut's AI to write it for you. All you have to do is type in your topic and any key points you want to ensure are in the finished video. You'll also need to specify how how long you'd like your video to be. For this example, let's tell a story about what else? A cute dog. Duh. I want the topic of my video to be this adorable pup discovering a hidden magical forest behind her house. So let's type in a cute small dog sniffs around her backyard and then runs into a bright magical forest. My key points, the dog meets a squirrel friend in the forest. The dog and the squirrel face a challenge when they have to cross a stream together and they happily build a cozy home together on the other side of the stream. Let's keep this story to around a minute and then generate our script. In just seconds, I have three fully fleshed out scripts to choose from. I like these as is, but if you wanna make any changes, you can do so by tapping the edit button. Let's go ahead and use the third script here. Once I choose my script, I'm back in the AI Story Maker's initial screen with a script filled in. Now I just have to choose the visual style, my voiceover, and the aspect ratio. I think that this story would be unbelievably cute as a 3D cartoon, so let's go with that style. For my voiceover, I want something youthful and fun. Let's head into the characters section. There are so many different voiceovers to choose from here. I think I'll go with doll, that seems to fit pretty well. I can adjust the voice's speed as well if I want my voiceover to be faster or slower. We'll keep the aspect ratio at 9 by 16 for TikTok and then let's go ahead and generate. This might take a minute, so feel free to minimize the screen and work on another project while you wait. Once it's done, you'll have the option to watch it and make any necessary edits. I seriously cannot deal with how cute my video turned out. Look at that little pup! You can make adjustments to individual clips like cropping or color grading. You can also add a song or adjust the caption. If you want to make more in-depth edits, like adding effects, transitions, or additional cuts, you can always head into the full CapCut editor to do so. I'm a huge fan of the new AI Story Maker. It really helps you bring your imagination to life and create awesome content. I'm also thinking about it from a team perspective too. This is such a great way to storyboard and bounce ideas off of each other. What kind of stories do you tell with your content? How are you planning to use the Story Maker? Comment down below and let us know. I can't wait to see your ideas come to life. Make sure you have the CapCut mobile and desktop apps downloaded so that you can use the AI Story Maker and explore all of the other awesome editing tools. With CapCut, you don't have to be a professional editor or producer to tell great stories and share them with the world. All you need is a good idea and the app will handle the rest. On that note, I'll catch you next time. Happy creating!